Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Mega Man Zero. This level is not particularly hard to get a high score on, but getting it perfect for the high yes is, as always, no mean feat. I'm also way not consistent and wanted this done sometime before the heat death of the universe, so announcement, no 100 points this time. Try to spot where my crucial mistake happens. The beginning part is pretty boring to do over and over again, but it can't be helped. At least I'm not doing this on console, it's a nightmare there. Um, this isn't uh, much to write home about, just dodge those and of course you have to know where the next one is, but this here is an absolute asshole. I am so pissed at this part because I do it effortlessly in the normal video and then I couldn't for the life of me reproduce it consistently here. Maddening, I say, maddening. At usually I just tank the hit then because I can afford that and I cannot afford to get hit by the boss at all anyway, so fuck it, at least that's what I thought. Yeah. I make a point to go back here and kill a few more enemies because the bombs that Mahagane Sharif, I think I nailed that, shoots out um, while he's rolling count as enemies for the kill. At least I very much think so. And um, as his position uh, in regards to you determines if you hit one with the mandatory jump slash, just to make sure, um, when jumping over him means that sometimes I was just below the border and that's not fun. The spike dudes are a big problem because, as I've mentioned in the normal video, in hard mode I don't have a slash combo, so taking them out quickly is out of uh, is not an option. And jump slashes won't cut it either, so I have to plink away at them with the buster. Fortunately, time is not a problem in this in this particular mission. Which is good because the boss can take a while. Um, the biggest problem is obviously again dodging the rolling attack and also what we just saw. He didn't shoot out his tusks in the normal video because it is his X skill. If we are an A or S rank, this, uh, the bosses will gain an extra attack which looks uh, something like this, yeah. Which is always something special. Sometimes it doesn't matter at all, like here, and sometimes it can completely change how the fight plays out. In this case here it is somewhat annoying, because in order to dodge it consistently, in my opinion at least this is the best way, um, I have to leave him off screen. So I don't exactly see what he's doing, however I hear what he's doing and that makes all the difference. So it's not that hard and I think Maha is pretty easily consistently doable. Um, Especially if you know how to dodge the roll, then you're pretty much set for everything else he does. Jump slashes are obviously your best option because they deal the most damage. Other than that, just listen for when he rolls. I usually dash away from him and then you re reverse course. I don't know why, just do it. And fuck! God fucking damn it, I got tagged by the last attack he did. And I so thought I had this in the bag, but this time he decided to shoot out two of those, and I was so mad at that point. But yeah, I still decided to keep it, because, well, I have tried quite a lot, and as I said, there is no way I'm going to be perfect anyway for the later ones, so why not just start here. The best way here again is to use the damaging jump slash to um, take out the gates in three quick uh, hits, it's uh, very easy actually, so you're absolutely under no time constraints here. Uh, if you know what you're doing and don't panic, just calmly slash away at those and you're pretty much set. You can also use some cool wall jump actions on them if you really care for it. But as I said, time is not uh, a problem here and nothing the boss can do will really delay the fight overly long. So uh, it's, it's again far more gentle than the first two missions were, even uh, when pointing is concerned. Yeah. Four points of damage. Four points. Yeah, zero one is absurdly cruel in how much damage you may take before it distracts a point. The later games are far more forgiving and in fact more forgiving with each entry. So yeah, that was that. Looking forward to seeing more, uh, to doing more for you. Thank you very much for your attention.